Good morning and welcome. Happy Hump Day. Joe and Jason, Patriot Radio News Hour, the physical delivery of wealth insurance. And man, are you going to need We're all going to need it. Listen, everybody, everybody needs to have it part of their portfolio. Uh, the, I think the only question really is uh, how big of a part, and right now, Probably the bigger, the better. And that, and I don't say that, obviously, listen, we sell gold and silver, but I don't say that because uh, I take joy in that or solace in that. That just tells you uh, that more and more people, and Jason, uh, the amount of new callers, new buyers, uh, we, every, every big event, we seem to, that seems to be the pattern. Uh, I wasn't here at Patriot at 9-11, but... Uh, Eric and I, you know, Eric would tell me right. They had a bunch of, bunch of new, right? The the fine, the housing crash and the financial crisis, right? We we got a bunch of new uh, buyers, and, and and then of course you know the quantitative easing stuff. All oh, right, we got a bunch more then, and then uh, the remember the the taper tantrum, right? We we got a bunch more then. Then COVID, right? We got more then, right? And, and now again with with the the banking problems uh, even more uh, then. If, if you're a new listener or if maybe you've been listening a long time and you know you need to do it, do it today. We've got great staff here. You're going to get great service. The girls are – got the best staff possible. They're going to answer your questions. Uh, they're going to treat you with respect. Uh, this is, it, it, maybe you don't have questions. Hey, if you don't have questions, great. Call up. I want the special and buy that or, uh, go online, place your orders, uh, however you want to do it. Uh, but really, I think this is, is a, a time where, uh, we're waiting, right? Gold, gold and silver are at the, that boiling point, right? And we're waiting for that next leg up, uh, in the, and is it in two weeks? When the next Fed meeting happens, uh, is it tomorrow? Uh, is it a month from now? Right? I think, Jason, that's probably the only question is is when uh, versus if. I agree with that. And, and as far as what you were saying uh, a moment ago, if a 9-11 happened tomorrow, I think Joe and I would have trouble doing radio shows. We, we'd be that busy. Can you imagine if a 9-11 happened, Joe? It, it would be – the calls and the new customers would be a blizzard. It would be a blizzard. And I'm seeing a ton of new callers and new people that are, hey man, I'm looking at this thing and I'm looking at the banks and they're, they're you know they're starting to hear it in the traditional places in the media about hey the, things don't look too 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 normal right now and so they're they're looking for gold and silver and like the word of mouth customers you guys listening. You guys are sending them to us. And so here in Colorado, Joe, like I told you this morning, there's a ton of new people calling and buying and coming in. I, I, and, again, a shout-out to all the – because Jason's right. Uh, all of our customers, you know, they either come because they're, they've are they listened to the show, uh, but mostly it's word of mouth. It's, hey, a buddy of mine told me about you guys. Uh, my, my, my neighbor, uh, who somebody that I work with, maybe it's a relative. Uh, we, and again, uh, we've worked really, really hard, uh, to earn that. Uh, we, we, we were people of our word. We do exactly what we're going to tell you d- that we're going to do. And the nice part is, Hey, listen, nobody's perfect, but I promise you this. If we made a mistake, we will fix it. Period. And a discussion without, without any issue at all. Uh, and, and I think that's what people love. You know, when you, when you order from us, just really quickly, uh, I'll just tell you how it works. You call the 800 number. And, uh, you, you talk to the girls. Maybe you're, 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 you're looking at silver. Or, or, or maybe you're looking at fractional gold. Or, hey, I just want the best bang for my buck. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. We're gonna give you the, the best pricing that we can. And you, you decide, hey, yep, that's what I want to do. I want, you know, whatever. I want ten of these, five of those, one of these, it, it, whatever it is. And, we, and we, it doesn't matter whether it's a thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars. We 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 do all of those types orders and everything in between. You want to roll over an IRA? We can do that too, right? There's not there's nothing we can't do, pretty much, and. 
Uh, when you order, we give you a trade number that locks you in. When you place an order with us, that you're locked in, I'm locked in, and it's really just that simple. We don't care. At the gold could go up a hundred dollars five minutes after you hang up the phone. You're locked in, and I'm not calling you to say, "Hey, gold just went up another hundred dollars and he didn't pay more." No, you're locked in. Same for, now, obviously, it works the other way. Right, it goes down a hundred dollars. You're still locked in, right? You're you 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 do what you say. We do what we say. You can pay for it in any way possible. You can write us a check, personal check. By the way, probably the most private way. It's kind of funny to say the most right personal checks is is probably the most private way. We take uh, American Express, Discover, Visa, Mastercard. So we take all four major credit cards. We only charge two percent. By the way, uh, that's less than everybody else. Everybody else is charging three. Some places are already up to four. But still, right now, we're still at two. You can pay with cash if you want to pick up in any of our three locations. Right, we got an office here at the Deer Valley Air Park. We got an office in Fort Lupton, Colorado. We got an office in Johnstown, Colorado. Uh, we can do that as well. Uh, but uh, you know what? Uh, again, the only thing we can't do anymore, right, no more third-party checks. That went away. Uh, I, I want to say it was either 9-11 or the financial crisis. I can't remember which when, when that went away. But you know what's so funny is when I started. So when I started here at Patriot, it was 2003. So, you know, I've been here 20-plus years now. I used to say, you know, uh, man, you guys are a bunch of wackos in the basement wearing tinfoil helmets. Well, guess what? The basement's getting pretty crowded because everybody's realized – Holy crap, the guy that I thought had tinfoil helmet on, he's the one that actually knew what was going on. We'll be back after the break. Eight hundred nine five one zero five nine two. AllAmericanGold.com is the website. A quick look here at the markets. Uh, it's a down day. Uh, the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ are all lower uh, gold is lower, but well, well off the lows right now. Gold's down 12 at 1995. At one point, uh, was down to, to 1970. Uh, it just kind of this weird thing where the, and again, more of a paper game going on. Uh, the physical markets, I got an update for you on that in just a minute. More of a paper game going on. Uh, but once again, gold just refusing uh, to stay down here. Silver is up. So this is uh, kind of usually, you know, gold and silver us- usually running together. Uh, and again, I'll give you an update on the silver market. I don't think people are going to like it. But silver's up uh, about 15 cents here, $25.40. This market update brought to you by our good friends over at Y Refi, right? Two weeks from today. Will it be another quarter of a point? Of course, we think so. Uh, is it going to get worse? Uh, by the way, have you seen gas prices? I don't know what's going on in Arizona, but we're now to four ninety nine. Now we're at five bucks. Uh, it just went up another thirty cents in one day. I mean, what happened to I don't know what happened to four seventy nine and four eighty nine, right? I mean, this this is it, it's absolute insanity. Uh, what's going on? And ga- at least here in Arizona, gas is up. You know, nationally, like eight cents. Uh, how we went up thirty, I don't know. But this is again why I love why refi. Why refi doesn't care. Don't care. We're not correlated to Wall Street. We don't care. We don't care about Jay Powell. We don't care about Gatwick. Listen, you get a fixed rate of return up to 10.25%. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Something that, that, that may, actually, may actually keep up with real inflation. Who knows, right? But check them out. You gotta, now, listen, got to have 50 grand. Nothing we can do about that. You can use an existing IRA. Some of you can use a 401K even. Check it out. InvestYRefi.com, that's the word invest, the letter Y, R-E-F-Y dot com, or 888-Y-REFI-24. Uh, and Jason, 
uh, it, it's uh, we had oil inventory reports out today. Uh, we had some bank more bank earnings out today. Uh, oil inventory. The third straight week, Jason, we're back to taking oil out of the strategic reserve, but it wasn't enough. Uh, both groups uh, reported declines in crude oil stocks, and uh, I, I don't know where all of this is headed. You know, crude oil is actually down a dollar today. Uh, they're, they're, uh, the dollar is having a little bit of strength. I, I'm not buying it. You know, they're trying to, you know, I think everybody kind of is expecting that quarter of a point in two weeks, uh, but but. Oil is not going to help the inflation's going away cause. No, that's that's right, Joe. And and uh, you know, it seemed like oil and was going to be affected a lot by this Ukraine war. You know, the, the, you know that this Ukraine war that's going on. It's how funny how everyone just has now gotten to used to it. How they how they normalize a war in a country. And I know that American soldiers aren't there. I know that it's a little different, but. Remember the emergency, man, when, when uh, 2022, you know, beginning of the year, that war started and uh, another one of those instances where tons of new customers came in and tons of business came in because people were, they were worried about where that was going to go. And, uh, you know, I thought that was going to be a big pinch on the energy, right? I thought that was, you know, that we we're going to see a huge energy price. And I was funny how you're seeing it in Arizona and California is seeing it. Is, is this going to happen where that, that, that war, which is, in a lot of ways, seems like has a lot to do with energy. Is that going to filter in here as the as the markets uh, get a little weaker? As as uh, we keep repeating uh, what's going on with the inflation, right? Are we going to see the the oil prices continue to go up, and then we'll start to see like a normal gas price of five dollars a gallon? I just it just it seems like it's just a matter of time. Remember, I remember what was it last year, Joe? That they, they uh, some some bets were made on one hundred and twenty dollar a barrel oil. Yeah. Remember that. Those will be coming well, again, soon. I they, don't think they need to lose their bets. Yeah, they, they want to hide everything. Uh, the, 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 the strategic oil reserve is is almost empty. And when I say almost, the, the amount of oil they were taking out of it to, to keep the price down. We would be out of crude oil in the reserve by September, so they had to stop. So even now, uh, they're, they're taking it, but it's a much smaller amount every week because there's just not enough there. Uh, so uh, China's economy, China's first quarter GDP, 4.5%. Uh, that was a little better than they expected. Uh, by the way, India, let's not forget about India. India, I think any day now, they either just passed them or they're going to pass China any day as the most populous nation on earth. Uh, and, and those two countries, Jason, they're driving a lot of demand. And, of course, uh, the new relationship between the Middle East and primarily Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Qatar, with China, India, Brazil, and Russia, uh, the, the, they, they really don't care about what the U.S. wants to do. You know, we used to be able to kind of bully Saudi Arabia and the Middle East and, uh, hey, we need you to pump more oil, right? You know, when I first started, think about when I first started. Gold was $300. And everyone that bought it was a nut job, right? Uh, People would tell me when I told them what I started doing, they're like, what are you, what are you doing that for? You know, who buys gold? Right, and you'd get the hey, isn't our dollar backed by gold? You'd get that stuff, right? You know, and you'd have to try to explain it to everybody. But they had a twenty-two to twenty-eight dollar price band. You guys, I think people forget this. And what did that mean? Well, they had an understanding with the Saudis. Hey, when oil gets down to twenty-two dollars, you guys can go ahead and cut production. But once it gets to 28, you need to come out and say, hey, we're going to produce more. Right now we're talking about uh, $80 a barrel. There's no talk of, of price. Pay. Matter of fact, the only talk is, hey, how can we figure out a way to, 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 to trade oil in something other than Federal Reserve notes? We don't want dollars anymore. Jason, these are all huge things. That's not right. We got the debt ceiling. That hasn't happened. By the way, the tax numbers are in. Not up to par. Tax revenues have fallen 
Uh, this is the first fall in tax revenues in several years. And Jason, now apparently it's going to make this debt ceiling, which we haven't even talked about the debt ceiling. That that date that they're going to run out of money got moved up because apparently uh, April 15th wasn't the winner they were hoping for. Yeah, you know, uh, it, it, you can't, uh, what is it, kids? kids. Can't squeeze. Uh, what is it? <laughs> I got the, the saying. Can't, Blood out of a rock. Squeeze. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I mean, but once once the inflation ran as hot as it's run for the last two years, uh, yeah, of course, with all those checks and that free money that came in in 2020, 2021, that was floating around there, and uh, that showed higher incomes, so higher taxes, and the, the inflation came in. Well, people are on top of it for a while. You you pay what you can. More tax revenue came in. Well. These, the job losses are happening, Joe, and, and I, I think a lot of it's just not being reported correctly. I think there's a, a tremendous amount of job losses that are, are coming in and can't pay taxes if you can't buy stuff, Joe. Even if without the job losses, the inflation so, is so much now over, the, over, over this longer period of time, people don't have the money. And if you don't have the money, you can't pay taxes. You know, uh, the incomes are not keeping up with the inflation, Joe, so there's another part of it. And uh, the, it's like the government slowed down on their spending, right? Yeah, well, uh, the government debt, that's another, this thing is growing and growing quickly. Uh, And again, you don't solve inflation by spending more money. You just don't. Uh, Switching gears a little bit here, Morgan Stanley, they were one of the, uh, Morgan Stanley, uh, I think it was maybe B of A, or U.S. Bank, and then we got some of these regional banks Not great. I I would call it a mixed bag today on earnings. Uh, The biggest thing probably came out of Morgan Stanley. uh, Big jumps in their loan loss reserves, uh, primarily when it comes to commercial real estate. Uh, This is is a problem that's going to keep growing uh, as we continue to see defaults. Uh, happening in that space. Uh, then uh, out of the blue today, the second subprime, subprime auto lender blew up uh, overnight and, and essentially went out of uh, they went out of business overnight. They were open yesterday, not open today. Uh, this is the second major subprime auto dealership. This one had dozens of locations primarily in the South. And they were talking about how they have temporarily, I like that, hey, we've temporarily closed our dealerships. We are working for a solution, but don't worry, we're not going anywhere. This is a U.S. auto affiliate, by the way. They are having a problem selling the auto loan. Which means, oh, so, so obviously, they're, they're, A, they're subprime. So this is the, the highest risk people. And normally what they do, Jason, like I said, they've got like 20-some-odd locations. So this is not a, a pretty big little auto dealership here. They're having problems because the, the payments continue to deteriorate. And the amount of money that the banks are willing to spend uh, aren't where they need to be. Uh, now they're telling everyone, hey, keep making your payments. By the way, keep making your payments because if you don't, you're going to regret not doing it. Uh, and then a Hardee's franchise, this is a part of a bigger group in Wichita, Kansas. And, and here's what's, again, about both of these. They closed without warning. They closed, I want to say it was 17 locations. This is a chain of, and you know how, uh, especially in fast foods, these franchises, this was a bigger one. They have 187. So this is not a small little group here. Just overnight, shut all of their Hardee's locations in Wichita, and, and, and each location had between 20 and 35 employees. Jason, they're all out of work. How many was that again? How many shut down? Seventeen. Did you have that number? Seventeen. Just in just in the Kansas area. <laughs> yeah, and overnight. <laughs> this is the pro- overnight. So, so the car dealerships. I've listened to that. Uh, 
you don't shut your doors and say, well, we're coming back later unless there's a severe problem. You're basically shutting off your revenue. You only shut off your revenue if there's a severe, severe problem. So that that, that car dealership, Joe, you got to think that they're looking for someone to, uh, to, to to fix their financial problem or they're selling. That's the only well, that's he, only, he, well here's the issue. Reasons, it's, right? it's really wor- it's it's probably worse than that. They're like, hey, wait a minute. We, we we go to the market all the time, right? We we package these loans up, and we sell them. And 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 all of a sudden, we know what happened. The banks were like, well, you know, and let's just say, let's make up a number. Uh, let's just say it was two hundred fifty million dollars worth of car loans. Okay, so because they got more than two dozen locations. So at the end of the month, hey, we're going to package this stuff up. We're going to sell it to Wall Street and and fund our business. Well, they went to Wall Street, and Wall Street obviously said, well, (laughs) we ain't giving you that, right? And, And I think this is a huge, huge problem as these credit standards, and people haven't talked about this enough, as these credit standards tighten, I think you're going to see more and more of this. I think a similar situation, obviously a little different with the fast food chains, but why do I have the feeling it had to do with debt that they were trying to sell and couldn't do it, and then all of a sudden overnight had to shut their doors? We'll see. It's kind of interesting that two of them happened in the last 24 hours.